Harford County is really taking a stance for veterans. Yes, huh? good move by the mayor, Mayor uh, Martin out there. Uh, you may have seen them at business like what? Mission Barbecue, mm -hmm. Harris, Harris Teeter. Teeter. They have veterans only spots, parking spots right out in front of the store. Well, now Havity Grace has taken a role here. ABC 2 News' Abby Isaacs talked with the mayor and local veterans about the impact that this is going to have. Abby? Well, they hope it not only brings a smile to the face of the veterans who park there, but that it will also inspire other cities to take a stance and install veteran only parking spots. There's a regular sign that's actually posted at, at standard height. It's nothing fancy. It has uh, six of, of, the, of, the, of the armed services on it. A parking sign on the side of the street. Simply just, just states that it's, it's veteran parking. But for these Army veterans, it shows the city of Haver de Grace has their backs. It's nice to remind vets that they have a home here in this city. The city is really going forward to, to go above and beyond and, and actually show not just talk the talk, but actually walk the walk. Mayor Bill Martin came up up with the idea over the summer. I just happened to be down at the Rehoboth Beach Outlets and we saw these new, uh, parking for veteran only signs down there and we say, hey, I wonder if we could do that here in the city of Howard Grace. So they designed their own signs and put them up outside a few parks and on busy streets. It's one of several steps the city's taken over the last few years to honor the military. There's a new veterans park, an upgraded war memorial at Tidings Park, and a Gold Star Family's Memorial Monument at Concord Point Park. The city of Havana Grace takes patriotism pretty seriously, and uh, being a defense community right down the road from Aberdeen Proving Ground, um, we're always trying to find ways on a daily basis just to say thank you to the men and women who uh, wear the uniform of our country. A thank you that is sometimes much needed and could make a big impact. According to the VA, an average of 20 veterans take their own lives every day. I myself have been touched by that personally. I've lost more friends that I served with in the past 10 years since my deployment than we actually lost during the war. Um, so it's, it's significant. And I think, you know, little things like, you know, just a parking spot, um, you know, a, a, a monument, let's... Those, uh, those vets and their families know that we're here. We support you and, um, you know, we want to remind you what you have and not what you lost. They are running on the honor system, so police will not be issuing violations for inappropriate use. They just expect that people re will respect what it's all about. That's a great story, Abby. That's great. Now listen, our community is being a voice for veterans in Maryland, and it isn't just here on the air. You can head to WMAR2 News slash Voice for Veterans to watch other great stories about our veterans and veteran organizations. And if you have a story idea we want to hear from you, you can email us at storyideas at WMAR.com.